Hey guys, it's Lisa from the blog FarmhouseOnMoon.com and I'm here today with my sister Lara from Our Oily House. And we're gonna show you how to make lemon, rosemary, chicken, and potatoes with essential oils. So once a month, I invite Lara here on the channel and we do something pertaining to essential oils. We've been talking about doing a cooking video for a long time. I've been really excited about it. Lara is pretty experienced in using oils in cooking. I do it on occasion, but not as much as she does. And she's been telling me about this lemon rosemary chicken that she makes, and it sounded so good. <laughs> and especially in the middle of the winter, whenever the fresh herbs aren't as accessible and in the garden overflowing, this is a really great idea to still incorporate those flavors. Tell me just a little bit first about cooking with essential oils. Whenever you are cooking with any essential oil, they are extremely concentrated. For example, it takes 45 lemons just to make a size, um, a 15 ml bottle of lemon essential oil. So that's a lot of lemons. So these go a long way. So you definitely don't need a lot. One to two drops is plenty. If that is too much for you, you can even do the toothpick drop, which basically you just take a toothpick, put it in the top and then just swirl that around into the dish that you were seasoning rather than dropping a whole drop in. I experienced that when I made some lavender lattes. I tried first to do a whole drop and it was way too much. Really? One drop was yeah, too much? Yeah, toothpick is what you need. Yep, a toothpick drop sometimes, but because we're making a, a larger quantity today, one drop should be okay. So we're gonna start by getting about a quarter cup of butter going in a cast iron skillet over medium to high heat. When I cook chicken, I really like to get it brown before putting it in the oven. It just gives it a better flavor mm -hmm. to get it nice and crispy first. And the best way to do that is in a nice hot cast iron skillet. As the butter is melting, we're just gonna add in one to two drops of lemon. I like it to be more lemony, so I always put in two drops. And then we're just gonna do one drop of the rosemary essential I, oil. I know from experience that lemon isn't near as strong. I know it's still very concentrated, yeah. but I can put a drop in my smoothie and not notice it. Whereas right, like yes. one drop of lavender and I'm sure rosemary, yeah, rosemary goes as a well. long way. It does, it does. Oh yeah, it's already strong. It already smells. Good. So once this is really hot, we're gonna get the chicken going. You don't wanna put your chicken on it until it'll do a good sizzle because if you do, the chicken's gonna stick and it won't get that browned skin like we really want. Yep, there's the sizzle. That's our test and it was good. <laughs> yes. We're gonna use about four pounds of skin on thighs. Now I like to use the skin on because it adds a lot more flavor. The bones you can use for bone broth. While it's browning, we're gonna just sprinkle it with a little bit of garlic powder, salt, and pepper. About a half teaspoon of garlic. Yeah. Lots of pepper. Oh yeah. I can already smell that lemon rosemary. Oh, it smells so good. So about a teaspoon of salt? Yes, that would be perfect for that amount of chicken. All right, while that's going, we're gonna chop up some potatoes to get our rosemary potatoes going as well. Yes. Now, I shared some tips here on my YouTube channel for how to get crispy potatoes in a cast iron skillet. I'll link that video below, but there are definitely some tricks to how to get super crispy potatoes, and that's what we're gonna try to do here today. Now we're gonna add about eight chopped up potatoes to a hot cast iron skillet. We're gonna add a drop of rosemary. Just one drop in here. Okay. Now that this oil is nice and hot, we're gonna add our two potatoes. Ooh, you warm the sizzle. <laughs> That's one of the keys to crispy cast iron skillet potatoes. Also a key is to not overcrowd them, so if you're gonna be cooking for a crowd, just make sure to get a second skillet going. Yeah, which we probably need to do that Yeah, now. we will. <laughs> After these get kind of brown, I'm gonna transfer them to the 400 degree oven with the chicken to finish cooking. All right, now to serve alongside the chicken and potatoes, we're gonna do a nice green salad and we're gonna serve it with a lemon honey mustard dressing. We're using lemon essential oil, mayonnaise, mustard, honey, garlic powder, salt, and pepper. So let's see how we make it. You make this all the time, right? I do, okay. I make it. Gosh, almost every night. <laughs> so we're just gonna start off with doing a quarter of a cup woo, of honey, and then we're going to add in a quarter of a cup of mustard, and a quarter of a cup of mayonnaise. And 
I have the um, non-GMO brand of mayonnaise. There's also a really good avocado oil mayonnaise. That's what I use, the avocado oil. Yeah. And then we're just going to do a half of a teaspoon of salt and a quarter of a teaspoon of garlic and a quarter of a teaspoon of pepper. And then we're gonna add in one drop, one to two drops depending on how lemony you like it. Um, again, I like to do two drops in here of lemon essential oil and stir it up and this makes such a delicious, healthy salad dressing to top your salad with. All right, well, thank you so much for watching this video. If you would like to know more about cooking with essential oils, Laura and I are gonna host a class Monday night. It'll be a Zoom class where we're gonna share some more of our favorite recipes and ways to use essential oils in the kitchen. You can join us by clicking the link below to sign up for that class. It will be Monday night. Also, if you sign up and you aren't able to attend, we will send you the replay link. So either way, even if you can't make it Monday night, make sure to sign up to get some more info on cooking with essential oils. Also, if you aren't yet subscribed to Lara's channel and you'd like a lot of essential oil education, she shares at least two times a week, recipes for your home, lots of food recipes, DIY, what deodorant, beard oil, all kinds of essential oil recipes on her channel as well as some information and benefits of them. She's over at Our Oily House, I'll link it below. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I make two new videos every week on food from scratch, natural living in a handmade home. Thank you so much for stopping by the farmhouse.